When people around the world opened their hearts and their wallets to help the families of the killed and injured members of the Humboldt Broncos, it seemed like it was only a matter of time before somebody abused it. And it seems that time has come. The father of Ryan Stresnitsky, who's now being impersonated online, is furious. Uh, the message is come meet me at the hospital and uh, we can chit chat. Tom Stresnitsky didn't mince words when it came to the person responsible for using his son's likeness on Twitter and abusing Canadian's generosity to make a quick buck. The account posted just four times before it was taken down earlier Monday, with one including a link to a bogus GoFundMe account. The senior Stresnitsky says his son took the news with extreme sadness and anger. Ryan was worried about his uh, his teammates going, hey, are you cashing out on us? Or That was Ryan's main concern. Was, was the teammates getting mad at him, even though he had nothing to do with it. Members of the public we spoke to couldn't hide their disgust at the idea someone would do this. It's just ridiculous. Like, you hear it all the time in the States, and to actually happen in Canada is like, what the heck? <laughs> I would, like, I would freak. That's horrific. Um, I think capitalizing on anything like this is just pretty disgusting. It is kind of disgusting yeah, that someone would actually do that. GoFundMe, meanwhile, released a statement to City News saying, quote, GoFundMe is a site that requires authenticity and transparency, and our policy is simple, and it's strictly enforced. It's not permitted to mislead, defraud, or deceive any user on a GoFundMe campaign. When that happens, we take swift action, which can include removing the campaign, banning the user, and refunding donors. It continued, we have a dedicated team that works around the clock to monitor campaigns set up for victims and families following tragedies like Toronto and Humboldt, and they are reviewing all campaigns. We guarantee all money goes to victims and families. The real GoFundMe, which closed to the public last week, topped over $15 million for the families of players and those involved in the tragic accident. In Calgary, Michael Lumsden, City News.